Nishant Yagnik. I'm head of neurosurgery in Fortis Hospital in Manasar. So today I'm going to tell you about surgery for epilepsy. Now epilepsy is a condition that can affect even small children and usually epilepsy does affect people in their teenage and actually goes on their entire life. Epilepsy is essentially a short circuiting in the brain. Imagine there is a transformer circuit and one of the transformer blows up. Suddenly current spreads everywhere and everything is fluctuating. The lights, the bulbs, the fans and, sudden, and then the brain shuts down. That's exactly what happens in a seizure. But in epilepsy, it happens again and again and again. Often the medicines for epilepsy are not enough in 30% of the cases. So 30% of patients suffer from intractable epilepsy, which means they will not be able to control seizures uh, with medicines, which means they cannot cook, they cannot swim, they cannot drive, they cannot go out safely in their life. It's a very bad quality of life. In these cases, we have multiple options now which are surgical that can bring this problem under significant control. For example, the most commonly done procedure is called amygdala hippocampectomy where we use functional neurosurgery and special navigation guidance to make the disconnection in the processes or the area that is causing the epilepsy. Imagine it is like removing an MCB and a transformer to make sure that the rest of the transformers are working perfectly fine. The second kind of surgery that we often do is called a lesion end. Sometimes patients suffer from trauma or injury or war injuries and they have a certain area which is damaged that continuously short circuits. We can remove this area completely or just disconnect the fibers from there. A third surgery in patients, very commonly done, where nothing is found. Many patients have this from birth. No particular area can be found for the epilepsy itself. In that case, we don't touch the brain at all. We place what is called a vagal nerve stimulator, which is a certain device that helps to stimulate the, one of the largest nerves coming from the brain called the vagus nerve. And through a battery and continuous stimulation, it significantly reduces both epilepsy and chronic intractable pain. So with these therapies, please seek out our reference. If you have a patient of severe epilepsy, don't feel that there are no options left for them. There are many, many options available now in our arsenal. Thank you.